Hi everyone, welcome back. Been looking at the Indian curriculum. I haven't had a chance to look at some of the other countries yet, but the Indian curriculum has these cases of rationalising the denominator. Australia used to teach this. I used to have it in New South Wales in Sydney years ago, but it's been taken out of the curriculum here in Western Australia. But this is for the people from the other countries who still do it. Thank you for all your kind comments. There have been so many wonderful comments. I really appreciate it. And down in the link below, I'll have a link to the playlist that I've created, which has got, we'll have these and a whole bunch of other, the simpler sort of like these ones here and these ones here. I've already done videos on them, so you'll find them in the playlist. And in the playlist, so if you're struggling with this and you're not ready for this and it's too hard, go back to the earlier videos and have a look at those. Also, I'll put a playlist of something else that I think is quite helpful for you as well. Let's have a look what's going on. If I want to talk about historically, people don't talk about what happened or why we do this. Before we had calculators, yes, I'm old enough that I didn't have a calculator at school. It was awkward to divide by root 2. Now, I know that root 2 is about, well, I'll write it up here, root 2 is 1.414, correct the three decimal places. So to divide by 1.414 is really awkward and annoying. But if I multiply this by 1, I'm just going to talk about this idea, multiplying by 1. I'm always talking about multiply by 1. It's one of the things I nag about, nag about. People don't realise they're doing it. If you multiply by 1, it doesn't change it, but it can rearrange it. So if I wanted to, I could multiply it by 2 over 2, or 12 over 12, or root 12 over root 12. I could do anything I want. As long as the numerator is the same as the denominator that I'm multiplying by. Now, it turns out with these questions, if you looked at the previous video, or well, you already know how to do it, presumably, because you should have known that in terms of coming to this video. If I multiply that by root 2 on root 2, and I spent the time, but the video gets too long and people don't really want to know it, this will end up being a 5 root on the top, but this will end up being a 3 root 2 on the bottom, and you don't get rid of that square root. So people had to think up something more creative to get rid of that square root. And here's what it is, so simple. You write the opposite of that. So instead of having 3 plus root 2, we write 3 minus root 2. And you'll see why in a second if you didn't understand. This is actually, for those who understand, becomes the difference of two squares. And the difference of two squares eliminates the middle terms. I'll show you that in a second. So if I write that on the bottom, if I'm multiplying by 1, I've got to also write it on the top. I just can't, I've seen so many people over the years who do not get the concept and the moment I explain those ideas to them, the whole thing goes, I understand it now. And it makes it a lot easier. So another thing I talk about is the fraction bar means brackets. I can't remember teachers, my teachers teaching that, but that means a bracket around that, a bracket around that, and a bracket around that. So now if you look at it using that, the top's easy to expand. So the 5 will be times the 3, which is 15. Most people are okay with that. The 5 times the minus root 2 is just 5 root 2. Now, the denominator. Well, we're going to have and do the whole thing. Be patient with me. 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times minus root 2 is minus 3 root 2. So we finish the 3s. Now we're going to start with the root 2s. So the root 2 has to apply to both of those. So it's plus 3 root 2. And it's a plus times a minus. So that's a minus. And I'm going to bother to write it. I have these other rules I talk about. The outsides multiply and the insides multiply when we're talking about thirds. So have a look at this one here. The insides are two and the insides are two. So really, that's the square root of four. And most people look at that and just go, it's two. Hopefully, pretty soon, you'll realize that root two, or you already know, root two times root two is just two. But there's the four working out. A lot of people can get away with a lot less working out, but that's not for here. This is for the people who are struggling with it, not for the people who are really, really good at it. Now, the 3 root 2 and the minus 3 root 2, they eliminate each other, they become 0. Now, I could write another step here, and I could go, we wrote 9, nine subtract 2, but I thought, yes, there's nothing. And 9 take 2 is 7, and there's your answer. Now, I could for a moment show you, very briefly, if I knew that I wanted, say, one decimal place accuracy, or if I wanted more, I could say that root 2 is 1.414, and I could go through that calculation pretty easily. I can do that calculation pretty easily. Subtract it from 15 very easily and divide it by 7. So it's turned it from a really revolting calculation into a really simple calculation. That's a historical basis of why we did this. Now the next one goes a step further. 
All I'm going to say to you is we're going to multiply by one. We have to have the same on the top and the bottom. Now, if we want a difference of two squares, the denominator would be 2 plus 3 root 3. And if I put that on the denominator, I've got to put it on the numerator. So it's basically as simple as this question over here. But just got to be careful with the numbers. So it can even go further. Can you imagine if I had here like a root 3 and a root 5, and, or even worse than that? It just gets a bit more fiddly, but just be careful with what you're doing. So I'm going to go to write the brackets in. If you get away, come away with one thing from this, it's about putting the brackets in and the times by one. Let's have a look what we've got. It's a one times a two, so I use a one first. One times a two is two. One times a three root three is three root three. Finish with the ones, now we do the two root three. Now it's when it gets tricky. So it's two times two is four. They're outsides, they're not under the control of the square root. So that's four, and you've got the root three inside. Now the really tricky one, but I think it's easy. Two outsides, two threes are six. And I am going to bother the right, no, I don't think I will. Root 3 by root 3 is root 9. Root 3 by root 3 is root 9, which is just 3. So some shortcutting of the steps, but not much. Next part here, 2 times 2 is 4. Now if you want to, all you have to actually do is multiply those two and multiply those two. Because it's a difference of two squares, those two terms are going to eliminate each other. But we'll do it in 4. So 2 times 2 is 4, so I'll use the 2 first. 2 times 3 is 6 root 3. Now, minus 3 root 3 times 2. Minus 3 by 2 is minus 6. And then you've got the root 3. And the one you've got to be careful with. 3 times 3, actually a minus 3 times 3 is minus 9. And I'm going to shortcut here again like I did on top. Root 3 by root 3 is root 9, which is 3. And the question's almost done. You can see how easy it is. So I've got a 2 plus an 18 is a 20. And then I've got the 3. Now, I want to talk about this as collecting like terms. I do have some videos on that as well. So, we're talking about 3 lots of 1. <laughs> I'll write this one down too. Root 3 is 1.732. I know I've lost the 3 decimal places. Just had to use it so often. So, this is 3 lots of 1.732 plus 4 lots of 1.732. So, all together, we've still got 7 lots of root 3 or 7 lots of 1.732. On the bottom, those two eliminate each other. And we've ended up with a 4, subtract a larger amount. So 4 take 27. So that's minus 23. Now there are people out there, I'm going to do this to you, who don't like the minus being written there, and they'll put it out the front. So they'll write minus 20 plus 7 root 3. And you go, well, wait a minute, is that the same? And you go, yes, because this had a bracket around it. That still has a bracket around it. It doesn't matter if you write the minus here with the bracket or, or here. Or out the front. So, now yeah, pretty awkward to divide by 23. I can do it easily because when I was at school, I did it till it just went on and on and on. Well, I hope you found that helpful. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.